What is the resolution of the human eye? Every year, Hollywood comes out with more and more breathtaking movies for their audiences. They have the sharpest images and most unreal colors to impress us. This is all thanks to ever-accelerating advances in digital filmmaking technologies. HD televisions, or those that are capable of even higher resolutions, and the launch of data carriers like Blu-ray discs have made it possible for us to enjoy our favorite TV shows and movies with better quality in our own homes too. But can we regard real life as a movie? Does our eyesight have resolution? Is it comparable at all to our favorite movies? VHS, video CD, DVD, Blu-ray, 4K. These numbers express the number of picture elements, that is, pixels. By multiplying them, we arrive at the exact amount of pixels that make up the image. We could easily assume that the higher the number, the better the image in the end. However, this is not necessarily so. This is merely a factor that contributes to the quality of the image. True image quality is about details, which is greatly influenced by the amount of light the object is exposed to, or how close the object is. The relation between pixels is also very important, because if the subject of our image is pushed out of focus, the number of pixels stays the same, yet the quality of the final image is much poorer. Now it is clear how complicated a question this is. Yet, it does not mean that we cannot provide an answer. We can simply compare our eyesight to the digital image by asking the following question. How many pixels would a screen need to cover our entire field of vision without detecting pixels? which means the image should look just like the one we perceive in reality. Well, it seems we are getting closer to finding the answer, yet there are still a few problems. The camera records one frame at a time, while our eye is constantly moving, and our brain creates a bigger picture out of the images coming from the eyes. Actually, this is what we call eyesight. A good example to demonstrate the difference between the mental image created by the brain and the whole actual information reaching the eye is the fact that we all constantly see our nose, yet our brain excludes it from view. The actual sophisticated eyesight that results from the information coming through the retina to the fovea only covers an area that would correspond to looking at our thumbs at arm's length when they are straight ahead of us. We can compare the resolution of our eyes with a camera image by ignoring these factors. The number of pixels that would cover the entire field of vision without actually seeing the picture element is 576 megapixels. That is, 576 million picture elements. This number cannot be compared to the performance of any camera. This result, however, takes into account our entire field of vision. That is, when we actually look around. It would be a much better comparison to deal with the image in a blink of an eye. This way, the eye fixates on a single point, and therefore, by only counting the information reaching the fovea, the end result would be 7 megapixels. This number can easily be compared to an everyday camera or camcorder. But remember, this area is only a small section of our real perceivable vision.